and now introducing the red corner first at six foot two weighing in at 243 pounds even his professional record 12 victories five losses fighting out of Groton, connecticut introducing josh the freight train deepman And across the cage to the opponent tonight, fighting out of the blue corner. At six foot even, he weighed in 260 pounds. His professional record stands at five and three, fighting out of Middleton, Connecticut, Parker Porter. And the referee in charge of the action, Gentleman Dan Mergliato. All right, gentlemen. Here we go in the heavyweight division. It's Josh Diekman versus Parker Porter. You see our tale of the tape, which is brought to you by Dave & Buster's. Eat, drink, play, watch sports. You see Josh Diekman much more experienced than Parker Porter. Can Parker Porter, as he said, drag him into deep water? Ready, sir. Let's go, fight! The show of sportsmanship again. These two fighters very friendly, but they're going to leave all that behind. Our fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official bear of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Swinging and winging. Two big heavyweights, yet referee Dan Mergliata is still the biggest man in the cage. And he almost always is. Porter trying to keep Diekman back with the jab. Hasn't really uncorked the right hand. See an overhand left there. Body kick by Porter. And Outside kick. Diekman throwing fast punches, but he's throwing a lot of them too. He's fighting like it's a one round fight. Porter, Porter much more controlled. Which kick from Diekman a moment ago. Porter said, I've never seen Diekman throw a kick. Well, he just threw one there. For cut left hand, straight right hand now from Porter. There's oh, Deepman falling right. back. Big hammer fist. Unrelenting shots by Deepman. And he gets the TKO win. You saw that, had him against the fence, going for the takedown and just could not protect his head. He is wobbly on his feet right now, Sean. Referee Dan Mergliata allowed Porter to take a lot of shots, gave him the absolute benefit of the doubt, but Porter just could not find the exit from those jackhammer one, one, hammer fists. I think that is a good call. Gave him a lot of time up against the fence. They weren't devastating shots. They weren't that hard, but he just could not defend himself. Good call. Jimmy, I'm not sure if you saw it. Just in front of us, they hugged. Diekman actually gave Porter a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Here's our fight replay, which is brought to you by America's Navy, a global force for good. You see here, it was Deepman kind of backing up at this point. Porter turning it on, but you'll see this counter shot right here over the top to the chin, right to the chin of Porter. You see here, going for the takedown, but cannot defend the side of his head. That's where those shots are. Legal shots to the side of the head and was not able to defend himself. Look at it here, turning it on, but not prepared for the counter shot. Bang, right hand over the top. And I like what Dan Mergliata did. He keeps an eye on it, gives him every chance to go forward and take Deepman down and cannot do it. Deepman, pro MMA win number 13 and victory in his Bellator debut. I'm sure he will count that as one of the biggest victories of his life. Deekman just relentless with those hammer fists to get the victory. No escape for Parker Porter. Let's go to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time. One minute, 12 seconds into round number one. Referee Dan Mergliata steps in, calls a halt to the contest due to unanswered strikes. The winner by TKO Josh. The Freight Train Deepman. Let's go to Jimmy.